Hello friends, today we will see how to validate XML file using XSD in MVC3 C Sharp. Now requirements, we need one XML file, one XSD file. We will need one service class which will hold the validation method to validate the XML on terms of, in terms of XSD and depending upon the validation result, we will show the result on the view. Now let's see how we can perform it. Now we have a controller home controller inside the home controller we have action result method now in this inside this method we have created a validation class object now this validation class is basically the class which we have created in service folder validation.cs now this class will hold the validation validate xml using xsd method which validates the xml file based on the xsd now we have an XML file that is books.xml now it has uh, two it has a root element that is books and has two child elements that is books and books and we have these elements inside book node that is author title generate price and review and we have xsd file for it and we have created a separate folder for it that is xsd and books.xsd now this xsd is in accordance with these with this books.xml file now in the validation.cs method we are accessing we are accessing the path of xml and xsd we are creating one XM, xml reader settings object and we are giving it a validation type of schema that is xsd type we are passing the xsd file into these settings and we are reading then xml file and while loading we are using these settings which include the schema file so if xml is not in accordance with the schema file it would throw an exception and will enter into cache block otherwise it will just execute the try block and returns a view so now let's see let's run the application and see how it works Now we enter into validation XML, validate XML using XSD method. We get the two path of XML and XSD, file, XSD path. We create object of XML reader settings and we supply the validation type to be a schema and we add the XSD schema to the settings and we read the XML file and we then we create XML document object and we try to load the XML object which has settings passed to them so now the xml file is in accordance to the xsd file so it would display the xml file is well formed according to the xsd now as per the xsd the price element in the xml should have a data type float so if we check the book xml the price element has a data type float now let's pass some string value inside this save it let's pass some string value inside it and again run the application Now this time while loading it gives an exception and the exception message is returned so it, it is passed to the view bar and finally to the view and it says the price element is invalid and the value the value we passed to the price element is invalid according to the type float so it's not a valid single type so by this way we can validate xml using xsd and this is just a simple example to validate a small xml or a simple xml using the simple xsd and we can modify xml file or xsd file accordingly 
So this is this was a tutorial regarding how to validate XML file using XRG. Thank you friends.